Here's a little pot that I had posted on Instagram before. Just love this thing. It's kind of, you know, it's tiny, as you can tell, <clears throat> how it is in the size of my hand, but uh, really jumped out at us when we were doing one of our initial walkthroughs. And, uh, yeah, so I put it back where it was, and now it's finally going to get wrapped up and packed away for a while. So I think that um, I'm going to have to change our, our plans a little bit with uh, how we stack these boxes, the pots today. Um, <clears throat> here, I'll go out front so you can see what's going on here. Uh, so I'm building up the, uh, the boxes that I'm unpacking from the, the wear rack. And as I had said in the, the previous video, um, I eventually want to clear this space off, which is um, just items from Jeff's uh, mother. Uh, so that way we can put pots on it. But um, there's a lot of pots from the wear rack that are, um, they're, they're kind of just too oddly shaped or just simply too large to put in boxes. It's just not practical. So, I mean, like you can see an example here, like we just got like the pot sticking out of the top of the box and it's the same thing with uh, this one here as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, clear this off right now. Um, maybe get some access here. So I need to move this, uh, this old Brent wheel um, move that out of the way so I can access it, but I'll move these things over to this table over here. Um, I don't know if that's in the shot or not. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff and set it here. And then I can use that as a staging space to, um, kind of make sense of it because uh, much like a lot of the areas um, in this building, it's it's a tangle of Jeff's work plus Jeff's life. Um, and we need to kind of start um, kind of creating a dividing line between those two. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to get into that. Now this table we originally had cleared off well because it needs to get cleared off, but Back behind that door there is uh, what we're calling the office, but it was like a, a place where the, the plumbers had kept a lot of their uh, miscellaneous parts and they're still there. Um, but there's a lot of really cool Jeff stuff in there as well. So maybe in the next couple of months we can get to it. But um, yeah, realistically, I, I don't anticipate that we'll be able to start working on that space, um, which, necessitates the need for this table. Um, I, I don't see us getting to that until the end of the semester because um, the both of us are just, um, we're busy because, you know, that's, that, that's the life of academics. But um, anywho, yeah, I think that for the time being, it just makes sense to start pulling off of that shelving unit and uh, moving them over here. And one thing that I do want to say um, in, in clarification from, uh, well, I guess not even clarification, it's like in addition to some information that I shared in the last video, the, the, the pots that are up on that shelf there, um, those boxes are actually two and then sometimes three deep. Um, it's insane and uh, the, the thought of kind of how we present that in a way that is practical um, for us as, as the archivists, but also useful for anyone who might want to um, view and utilize that archive. Like 
that, that task seems really, really daunting right now. Um, we're not quite sure how to do that. Um, in, in some ways, I think what makes sense is to, well, certainly what makes sense is to do it chronologically. Um, as I've, I've, as I've said before, I think maybe in some of our Instagram posts, um, it's really cool when you can look at Jeff's notebooks and see uh, kind of early sketches of things, and then you see those things come into fruition into like 3D art. Um, let me see if I can zoom in here. Um, so for example, open that up a little bit. Um, so like that pot right there, which um, is huge. But anyways, like there, there's a number of vessels that, that look like this and have kind of this kind of decoration, but like these circle patterns just, they show up everywhere. Um, that was just kind of a thing that he was doing. And um, we found in some of his notebooks, like his drawing of these. And then he also has a couple of um, paintings that he did with it as well. But it's just, it's fascinating to see um, kind of that uh, progression in his work and I'm mostly saying fascinating because like so much of what we need to understand that uh, that progressive arc is in this building um, and then the fun job for us is to um, kind of put those pieces back together and then um, devise a way, as I just said a moment ago, that is going to be uh, most useful to um, to viewers of his work um, in, in the future. So, yeah, it's really cool.